Welcome to a lesson on how to determine the fundamental subspaces of a matrix, given the singular value decomposition of the matrix. Let A be an M by N matrix. The fundamental subspaces of A are the null space of A, the null space of A transpose, the column space of A, and the column space of A transpose, which is also equal to the row space of A. In the previous lesson, we discussed how to find the fundamental subspaces for any matrix. In this lesson, we will focus on determining the fundamental subspaces given the singular value of decomposition of matrix A, where if A is equal to U times sigma times V transpose, U times sigma times V transpose is the singular value of decomposition of matrix A. And we can quickly and easily find the fundamental subspaces if we have the singular value of decomposition. So in our previous lesson, we found the singular value of decomposition of matrix A, which is shown below, where matrix U is the first matrix, matrix sigma is the second matrix, and the matrix V transpose is the third matrix. We will now use matrix U and the matrix V transpose to find the four fundamental subspaces of matrix A. So if A is an M by N matrix with rank A equal R, then the fundamental subspaces of A are given below where the set containing the vectors u sub 1 through u sub r is an orthonormal basis for the column space of A. Remember, if vectors are orthonormal, there are unit vectors that are also orthogonal or perpendicular. And we find the u vectors from the columns of matrix U. And the set containing the vectors u sub r plus 1 through u sub m is an orthonormal basis for the null space of A transpose and the set containing the vectors V sub 1 through V sub R is an orthonormal basis for the column space of A transpose. Remember the V vectors are from the columns of matrix B, which would be the rows in the matrix V transpose. And finally, the set containing the vectors V sub R plus 1 through V sub N is an orthonormal basis for the null space of A. Let's begin by determining the column space of matrix A. We'll first notice how if we write matrix A in reduced row echelon form, there are two leading entries, which indicates the rank of A is equal to two, and therefore R is equal to two, which means a set containing the vectors U sub one and U sub two is an orthonormal basis for the column space of A. And again, the U vectors are from the columns of matrix U, which is the first matrix. We'll notice how matrix U only has two columns, and therefore these two columns form an orthonormal basis for the column space of matrix A, and then we can say the column space of matrix A is equal to the span of the set containing these two vectors. So again, these two vectors are orthonormal, meaning they're unit vectors, and also orthogonal or perpendicular. And now let's find the null space of A transpose. Remember, R is equal to two, so the first vector would be the vector U sub three, but notice matrix U only has two columns, not three columns, this indicates the zero vector is an orthonormal basis for the null space of A transpose, or we can say the null space of A transpose is equal to the span of the set containing the zero vector, which of course would just give us a zero vector in R2. So in the case where the column in matrix U or the row in the matrix V transpose does not exist, the result would be the zero vector. And now let's find the column space of A transpose as well as the null space of A on the next slide. Notice the column space of A transpose and the null space of A involve the V vectors. We will find the V vectors in the rows of V transpose. So the set containing the vectors V sub one through V sub R, or in our case, V sub one and V sub two, is an orthonormal basis for the column space of A transpose, or the row space of A, we find these two vectors using the first two rows of V transpose, and therefore we can say that the column space of A transpose, or the row space of A, is equal to the span of the set containing the vectors from the first two rows of V transpose. And then finally, and then finally the set containing the vectors V sub R plus one through V sub N is an orthonormal basis for the null space of A. And again, if R is equal to three, and N is equal to three as well, the set containing the vector V sub three is an orthonormal basis for the null space of A. We find the vector V sub three in the third row of V transpose, this vector here, and therefore the null space of A is equal to the span of the set containing 
this vector from the third row of each transpose. So let's go ahead and summarize what we found. We found the four fundamental subspaces of matrix A using the singular value decomposition of A. So not only do these sets above form a basis for the indicated subspace, they are also orthonormal, which again means the vectors are unit vectors and also orthogonal or perpendicular. I hope you found this helpful.